one of the critiques, I mean, I, I see like when I go to Javier's Wikipedia page, I see far right, ultra right, uber conservative. Um, where is he on on social issues that that and I, I don't even know how these issues play in Argentina, but but do you consider him a far right candidate? <laughs> no, I think, you know, firstly, you know, some of these disfigurations and, 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 and ideas that in ideas that are completely wrong about him have to do with when, when he's when he's portrayed as a far right individual in many ways, it has to do with Argentina is so much to the left, you know, like the zeitgeist still is so much to the left that if you say if you say, for instance, we shouldn't uh, issue currency because we have destroyed six six currencies, you know, you're, you're automatically far right. Or if you want the constitution to really be the law of the land, you are far right. Because, for instance, one of the big problems that we have in Argentina is that there are groups, very small groups, who cut streets, but like main, you know, main avenues and in, 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 in cities all the time and make life for people who go to work, who go to school unbearable. And, you know, that, by the way, our constitution is extremely clear about that. And Javier, for instance, says that he's not, if he's president, he's going to do everything that is in his power not to allow that. And for many people, for media, that it's immediately uh, labeling as far right. Within social issues, and again, I am not an expert in, in, in Javier Millet's thought, but what I understand for everything he has said, for everything he has published and for everything he has done so far is that, and that's basically my position too, he's a libertarian, he's a classical liberal, and he believes that basically you can do whatever you want as long as you are not harming a third, you know, someone else with, you know, without their consent. That's basically it. And I think in social in, in social areas, he has not been very active or saying too much, because basically his his position is that you can do whatever you want as long as you're not uh, hurting uh, anyone else. Which, by the way, that that's my position. Maybe I'm projecting. You know that happens with politicians. You you never know. But I I really think, and for everything I, I have uh, I have heard him saying, that's that's basically his position. And I think that should be that should be the position, the default position of, of libertarians. Another thing, and, and this could be for another discussion, Matt, I really think that the value of privacy should be brought to the table again. I think it's highly problematic, particularly if you are part of a minority, that everything becomes political. There are a lot of things, a lot of things of my life, and let's say I'm quite mainstream, you could say, that I don't want ever to be political. I don't want my relationship, for instance, with my wife and my children to be a subject of a, an election or somebody giving me rights or taking away rights about how we live our life and the value of privacy and the value of let people do whatever the hell they want as long as they are not hurting anyone else. I think that's the default position of, of libertarianism, and I think that's where Javier stands.